Hi, welcome to Edison Lighting Supply. My name is Eddie Parrish. I'm owner and operator of this great LED lighting company. One of our tubes we carry on our product line is our Universal T8 LED tube. The beauty of the Universal part of this, it will operate with or without a ballast, meaning we can retrofit a four foot fixture as well as an eight foot fixture with this tube and totally bypass your ballast meaning no more ballast humming, no more burnt ends on your regular fluorescent tubes, and it's gonna save you over 60% in energy savings and cost. So anyway, I'm gonna get started on retrofitting an eight foot fixture and demonstrating the whole process from beginning to end for you, and this is gonna make your life so much easier. Coming up, I will show you the tools that need to be used, and we'll get started. All we need out of our toolbox is a screw gun with a quarter inch nut driver, a pair of wire cutters, strippers, and then a handheld quarter inch nut drivers for those hard to reach places that we can't get to with our screw gun. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and uh, unscrew or unclamp the top covers on this eight foot fixture. Okay, let's fast forward. What we want to do starting out is we'll go ahead and we're just going to simply unclamp these end caps in your existing fixture and they just should slide right on through just like so. Just pull these out like this. All right. Simply take our wire cutters here. We're just going to go ahead and Cut these wires down. I'm going to move this out of the way so everybody can see it at home. I'm just going to cut these right here. Right. We'll set these aside. You can see. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, what we have is we have our retrofit kit here. It's a beautiful kit. Uh, what this does is we're going to take a full eight foot fixture and turn it into a tandem four tube, four foot uh, fixture, meaning we're going to have the centerpiece right here in the center and the end caps right down here. Okay, and there's going to be two tubes on this four foot side and two tubes on the opposing four foot side. So let's go ahead and start. We're going to get uh, this end piece put on. Um, down here at the other end. Okay, so let's go ahead. With this kit, we have self-tapping metal screws that come with it. And all you'll need is one for each side. So we're gonna go ahead and apply these end caps here. And what, the, what this does is we're just gonna fit this right over the exterior of the fixture housing. Not the interior of the housing, but the exterior of the housing, okay? And we'll grab our screw gun here. We're just going to go ahead and load this with one of the self-tapping screws. And come around here on this side. We'll go ahead and launch this guy right in here. Boom, just like that. Okay. Now we're going to go over here and do the same thing on the back side of the fixture. So that's done, okay? These end caps are uh, just basically to hold the tube in place. All the power is going to be centered from the center portion of the tube, or of the fixture, excuse me. All right, now we're back down to the opposing end of the fixture. We're gonna do the same process as we did on the other end. That simple. Let's fast forward again. Okay, all right, so our end pieces are on. Now let's go ahead and get to wiring up our center piece. Okay, for the sake of expediting the video, we've go, went ahead and stripped down some wires here that we have in our warehouse. Once again, you can scavenge these wires um, to cut down to put in the center of our retrofit uh, 
piece, and this piece right here in the center is what's going to be providing the power for the leg on each side of the four foot sections of this fixture. We're simply just gonna cut down maybe a three, four inch length here, and the, all these are is jumper wires. So as you can see here, we have holes, one here and one here. We're gonna simply just take and push this down, and that will catch, and then we're just gonna loop this right back over, and it will catch in there, okay? Then we're going to take a black wire on the opposing side, and do the same, okay? And then we're gonna go up to the next, which is, once again, the top of the retrofit. There's two, four bulbs. Not to confuse anybody, we're looking at this from the underneath side. And go red here, flip this around, and red right there. And the red is going to act as our white, the black is going to, as our neutral, the black is going to act as our power here, okay? So, I'm going to go like that, and like that. So, we have a jumper piece, once again, on each one. Now, we have these longer wires here. These are going to be the feeds, as once again, we have two holes here. This is going to be the feed for the neutral to our power, which is black. And then we're going to act as the red coming off this as our white. Once again, two holes, and we're good to go there. We're going to do the same for the top piece. Red to red, red next to red, and black next to black. Let's make sure that's in there snug, which it is. You guys might want to just uh, finger test these guys too, just make sure they're locked in because these are locking uh, connectors in here. That way the wire doesn't pull out, short out, or anything of that nature, okay? So once that's done, we're simply going to fold this over. And now that we have our centerpiece put together, um, let's go ahead and we'll measure it out on where it needs to go as far as the center of the fixture. Um, we'll grab it at one of our LED tubes. Let's just go ahead and set this in here. We'll just kind of slide this down. Just got an idea. Always carry a Sharpie tube. Maybe not, I didn't mention that in the supplies you needed, but go ahead and grab that. Go ahead and mark it just in case it moves on you when you pull your tube out. You kind of have an idea of where to uh, locate these self tapping screws. Okay. Go ahead and set that out here. Okay. All right. You can also see on here as well there are slide areas for the self tapping screws, so if you're not perfect, just don't crimp the screws down so tight. And then you can adjust the centerpiece however you might see fit to secure the bulb in the sockets. Now, let's go ahead and test uh, the tubes and make sure that uh, it didn't move on us much before we put our drill that's too far away from us. Looks like we're in good shape there, okay? I just, all you need to do is make sure that we have one that fits. We know we're good on the other, other side. Okay, now that we have our centerpiece uh, in place, it's set, measured out, we know we're good to go there. Let's go ahead and hook up our power. We've already got this grounded out in the uh, fixture here, so we no need to mess with that. Um, let's go ahead and we're gonna take the black to the black. And once again, we're gonna act as if the red is our neutral, and the black obviously is our power here. So, 
make sure the fixture is unplugged, disconnected prior to doing this. It's always a good idea to use two different colors of white, that way there's no confusion once everything is buttoned down on which one's going to be your power and which one is going to be your neutral. Okay, so now we're ready to put the covers back on. Okay, I think now we're ready to insert our uh, four foot LED tubes. Once again, uh, our tubes, come, they come with a five year guarantee. They only draw 18 watts. Um, fully DLC compliant. You're looking at over 2300 lumens per stick. Absolutely phenomenal tube. Once again, folks, one thing about this tube is we can run it uh, directly off of a T8 four foot ballast or bypass the ballast just like we're doing today with this eight foot fixture and our retrofit kit supplied here at Edison Lighting Supply. So anyway, we'll go ahead and insert these tubes. It's real simple. You might have to bend these tombstones back just a hair to get it to lock in. You can really hear these things snap into place. Good solid uh, retro, or retrofit kits that we have available here for this type of solution for your eight foot fixture. Anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and plug it in. I wanted to thank everybody prior to doing this for coming and visiting us here at Edison Lighting Supply. Uh, we're truly grateful that uh, you're giving our company a view and the product, one of the product lines, various product lines that we have available uh, for purchase. Anyway, let's plug it in and see what we got. Bam. All direct current, LED tubes, no ballast. We're taking AC, dumbing it down through DC and with the internal drivers of these tubes and we're saving you massive amounts of energy dollars. Once again, thank you for visiting Edison Lighting Supply. Come back and see us soon.